Zach is back with an anime review, and today we're reviewing Dr. Stone Season 1. <laughs> Dr. Stone, for me, was a very surprising anime. Very surprising. Dr. Stone is about an apocalyptic event that turns everybody in the world into stone. Kind of reminds me of the people of Pompeii, you know, the people who are frozen in ash in weird positions. All I know is if this big apocalyptic event happened and everybody was just frozen doing whatever that they were doing, I would be the one that would be wiping my ass on the toilet, frozen in this position. So... That's just me. I know that's what would happen to me, and it would be awful. <laughs> Alright, guys, back to the review. After everybody's frozen and turned into stone, 3,700 years pass, and a very small group of people end up emerging from the stone. So they kind of like break out like eggshells almost. Because nobody was alive to keep society running for 3,700 years because everyone was frozen, society's basically just kind of withered away and corroded away. After 3,700 years, even things like plastic has been eroded, so virtually they're back in the Stone Age. And we follow the best person to restart society and get things running again, and his name is Senku. Senku is a 17-year-old prodigy that was basically gifted with the ability to learn science. He's basically learned everything there is to know about science. I mean, he must have been studying since birth, but he's studied robotics, chemistry, anatomy, physics. I mean, it goes down the list of everything that he's know he knows about science. It's just crazy. And basically, the gist of the story is that Senku wakes up from the stone, and he wants to restart society and civilization using his knowledge and power of science. There's a lot more to the story. I just want to be bare bones as possible for you guys so I don't get, like, spiked for spoilers. This show surprised me a lot, and the reason is, personally for me, I'm more into fantasy-style shows. Like, for example, I like Dragon Ball Z, I like Naruto, I like Hunter x Hunter, I like Full Metal Alchemist. I like things that kind of have a weird, surreal fantasy feel or sci-fi feel to it. I, I kind of like distancing myself from reality when I watch my animes. And when I went into watching the show, I thought it was going to be like an anime version of Lord of the Flies. And my initial preconceived thoughts of the show were completely wrong. What makes this show have a fantasy element towards it, or at least it makes it feel like it has a fantasy element, is that Senku ends up finding a group of villagers that have been basically stuck in the stone world for generations. So they actually have no recollection of science or the modern day at all. So when Senku ends up making machines for them, and he ends up making weapons out of steel for them, and he does chemistry for them, he makes medicine, he does all these different crazy things that science can offer, it almost feels like he has some sort of surreal, magical power in this world, even though he doesn't. There's a lot to like about this show. All the characters are very likable. They all have their personalities and their own little quirks and traits that kind of get you invested into them. The animation is good. The soundtrack is top notch. And the number one thing that makes this show fire in my book, it is the fact that this show makes you appreciate the little things in life. Dr. Stone really showcases how difficult it is to make simple products of the modern day in kind of a weird Stone Age era. There's a great instance in the show when Senku actually rewards one of the characters with a soda. The character's from the modern day, so he knows what a soda is, but he jumps through a bunch of hoops just to obtain the soda and kind of have the, I guess you say, feel of the modern day. Today, we can just go out and buy a soda and it's not a big deal. You can go and grab it any day of the week. But in the stone era that they're in, a soda takes a lot of ingredients to be made from scratch. So a soda is a big freaking deal in this time period that they're in. And this character gets moved to tears because he actually drinks a soda for the first time in 3,700 years. So, you know, like little things like that, a soda, not a big deal, a light bulb. You know, you, you, you take stuff like this for granted, a little light bulb here and there. You know, you can just go buy at the store, click it in. The amount of technology and science behind the light bulb is, cr is amazing but we just kind of pretend like it's no big deal nowadays. And personally for me, I think that's what this show is mostly about. It's kind of like the things that we take for granted that are so easily come by in the modern day back then is such a hardship to actually obtain. And I think this show really encapsulates that feeling. All right, guys, to recap the show, it has the feels, it has a good plot, it has good characters. Each character has their own reason of being there. They have their own motivations. 
Senku is a really cool main character, and this show really makes you ponder the little things in life, like a soda. You know, I, I drink soda all the time. Not a big deal. Stone Age, big freaking deal. And this show gets absolutely an A+. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all of that YouTube business. Please click the little bell for notifications if you like my content, because I'm going to be producing more soon. And until next time, you guys, see ya!